Hey guys, good morning and welcome to day three challenge. Um, I'm catching up with the challenges and I'm going to post all the challenges um, two through six on YouTube today because I've been doing a lot of my broadcasts on Twitter, but it's very different the way I do it on Twitter. So I just want to um, show my face and, you know, just to be very personal with you guys on YouTube. So today's challenge is handling opposition and there are five keys to handle opposition. Um, one is to... Try to understand. The key word is understand. So the first point of handling opposition is understanding. Not to take things personal, but to change your perspective and see where they're coming from. And there's five keys to understanding, you know, that conflict, that drama that that person is always throwing up at your face and, you know, just, just causing you drama and you just want to know why. So the first thing you need to do is just change your perspective. Again, don't take it personal. And there are five ways to do it. So one, ask yourself, you know, is that person having a bad day? What experience, you know, did they have before they came to the rehearsal? Um, what caused them to be so sour? Uh, was it something that's going on with their marriage? Something going on with their kids? Uh, did they get suspended from work before they came to rehearsal? Something's going going on with them and they're you know just just real funky and you know they're just messing up the atmosphere by being real irritable and agitated so you want to think about perspective you know if they had a bad day what's going on with them number two physical pain are they sick are they suffering from a terminal illness that nobody knows anything about and they're you know they're holding it all in in a spirit of bitterness and you know anger is just festering inside and they really need prayer but they don't know how to ask for it um this is a time to be very sensitive and you know take heed to the Lord and just lay hands and pray for that person. You know, have your dances just surround that person and just pray for them, whatever they are going through. And remember in past videos, I told you that, you know, the dance rehearsal is a place of worship and praise dance leaders must always be sensitive to what is going on. So, you know, be sensitive to the move of God and don't be upset if he just changed up the flow of your rehearsal. You know, he may use that rehearsal time, you know, just to pray for that person and have a moment of deliverance, whatever they are going through. Through. So number two is, you know, physical pain. Try to figure out, you know, if they're feeling or causing, if they're experiencing any type of physical pain. And if they are, you know, politely say you can be excused from rehearsal if you need to take the night off or a couple nights off, you know, be my guest. But, you know, take some time and take care of yourself. Number three, bad reputation. Are they known to have a bitter and sour nature just all the time? So you want to look at that as well. Like I said, the key to this is understanding and you can't take things personal. So I'm just teaching you the five components to understanding that person who has a lot of drama and who has a lot of conflict within their lives. Number four is projection. And this is a very funny one because this is where leaders really take it personal. But the key is to not take it personal and then really listen to what they're saying. Are they saying strange things that doesn't match up with your character or your mannerisms? Like, you know, they're accusing you of favoritism. They're accusing you of being uncaring, um, being a bully, being abusive. So listen to key words because if they're accusing you of things, something is definitely going on at home within their personal life or at work or their experience in something and they want to take it out on you like i said the key word is don't take it personal pay attention begin to listen pray and ask god for wisdom and you know some type of discernment and say god what is going on with this person so again you know you want to explore that person's reputation ask questions um see what's going on and like really listen to what they are saying because they are using you as a projection board for what issues they are dealing with and number five is my favorite one Hater behavior or what the young people call hater raid. I know that's an old slang. I don't know what they're calling now because they're forever changing up stuff. But hater behavior. So you want to see where that person is coming from. Are they jealous of your position? Do they envy what you have? Are they seeing all the surface stuff and not really dealing with what leaders go through behind the scenes? The responsibility, the grooming and everything else. So what you want to do is just be mindful of the behavior. And this is very cool. So today's challenge is very simple. Um, what I want you to do is write down two conflicting scenarios that you are experiencing within your ministry. If you have 10, oh my gosh, I'm really praying for you. But if you can narrow it down just to two main scenarios that you are dealing with, write it down in detail. Number two, write down how it makes you feel. Number three, write down possible reasons that this person may be behaving this way. Like I said, I gave five reasons. If you can match up the reasons 
why they are acting this way, that would be great and that would be the start of your journey. So take the five reasons that I explained to you and then try to match up to how they are feeling or what they're experiencing or the behaviors that they are displaying within the rehearsals. And number four, pray. After you prayed, write down three ways that you can handle the problem. Again, like I said, number one, you can't take it personal. You got to pray. You have to have some type of understanding. Try to come up with three solutions, you know, to try to handle this conflicting person. Um, again, opposition isn't a bad thing. It really builds leaders' character and it gives them strength and it also helps them to make a decision whether they're going to deal with it or they're going to step in the authority and take control and nip it all in the bud. Okay, so that's today's challenge. Um, like I said, subscribe to this channel, email me, and today's challenge is handling opposition and the first key is understanding. Please email me, tweet me. I'm on Facebook, write your comments in YouTube and I'm excited guys. Please keep me posted and let me know how you're doing, please. Um, again, welcome to day three challenge, which is handling opposition part one understanding and I'll see you in the next challenge. Take care and be blessed.